like this one, we've got a lot of good ones. We got a lot of good stuff. Yeah, I would agree. So, welcome to the middle ground. I am Eugene. This is. And I'm Dave. That's Dave. Dave. I was thinking today. I remember when I was younger and I used to change my son's diapers. And occasionally, to be a little asshole, he would pee on me. And I really think he did it on purpose. Because if you have a diaper full of pee. Oh, yeah, he did. And when I go to change this diaper full of pee, you pee on me? He waited. I know he waited. He saved it. He saved it. Yeah. He saved the last little bit for you. <clears throat> and my mother and my family members used to say, oh, that's so cute. No. Being peed on by a baby is not cute at all. I don't know. It's not cute. <clears throat> and it's definitely not cute being Look. peed on by a pasture. Yes, I said a pasture. Because pasture Daniel Chalmers decided to urinate on a sleeping passenger while flying from Vegas to Detroit. And that sleeping passenger, her name was Alicia Beverly. And when she woke up, she immediately screamed, he peed on me. At which time, Pastor Charmers, okay, I'm going to call him Pastor PP, admitted to the flight attendant, I peed on her. I thought I was going to the bathroom. Yes, you are hearing me correctly. Pastor PP pulled out his wee-wee and pee-peed on a sleeping passenger. She wakes up. She screams. The flight attendant says, what the hell are you doing? He says, I peed on her. He, I peed on her. I thought it was a bathroom. I thought I was going to the bathroom. He admits it. Fortunately for everyone, there's an off-duty officer on board. He de-escalates the situation. He restrains Pastor PP. Dave, I'm going to let you take this And uh, Yeah, and uh, we find later Beverly shares uh, her story. She says, I jump up and I see this private area out and I screamed and I woke everybody up. And, and then she continues, by the time I actually looked at him and I see him shake himself off and I'm like, this man just beat on me. I looked and there's a puddle of pee in the seats. Puddle of pee in the seats. Let's unpack this. Nice. Pasture yeah. PP just drenched not only a person, but a seat with urine and then shook himself off to make sure it didn't get on him. Well, apparently the officer also noted that uh, he reeked of alcohol and he, he had, quote, a small visually apparent wet spot in the groin area of his shorts. So if he shook himself off, he didn't do a damn good job of it. Okay, so what have we learned so far? Pastor PP cannot hold his liquor, and he doesn't know how to properly shake or wipe himself after he urinates. Is that a fair so there assessment? Is a, there's another possible explanation, Icon, Eugene. There's another a possible explanation. Perhaps... His uh, seatmate said to him at the beginning of the flight, you're in my seat. <laughs> okay. That is possibly the worst dad joke I have ever heard. It, it's it's the possibly worst. the worst dad joke I have Maybe ever heard. Maybe the second worst. <laughs> you're in my seat. <laughs> and then you repeated it. Okay. Of course. Of course. So, so moving ahead. ahead. <clears throat> The flight finally lands, and I'm going to assume Pastor PP had time to sober up because from what we see, his alcohol level was 0.17. And oh, yeah. I'm no doctor, but that's almost 20% of your blood being alcohol. Is that what that really means? Is that how they do that? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not an expert in this, but regards. Okay. We're not experts, but we are experts in stupidity. So the flight lands. I'm going to assume Pastor PP sobered up a little bit 
at which point he denied these actions. Nope, they never happened. All that pee over there is not mine. These pee spots in my jeans, I don't know how they got here. Matter of fact, I'm going to sue the captain and the airlines for defamation. I get why you would deny it, but dude, really? You peed on somebody. Just own up to that. I mean, you're yeah, later on, you later on... Later on, he did. Later on, he did. He he f issued the following statement uh, after afterwards. He says, um, as his statement, I want to sincerely apologize for my actions on this overnight flight. I uh, took some Ambien for the first time and to sleep well on my flight. I had a terrible reaction. I am so sorry for how this affected everybody on the flight, especially the one passenger in particular. I reached out and apologized to her as well. I want to please ask everyone for their forgiveness, and I never intended or wanted any of this for this to happen. That was that was the statement. I'm curious as as to why you feel he sounds that way. Oh, uh, that when I read those words, that's the voice that I hear in my head. You hear stupid. You, you hear stupid. I hear like, oh uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, he peed in somebody's seat, man. How intelligent do you think this guy is? <laughs> he was intelligent enough to deny it after he admitted to it. And then okay. and admitted again. So. Should I stay or he, should I go now? Well, he sure went. Let, let's rewind a little bit. Blood okay. alcohol content, 0. 0.17. That's almost 20%. Pastor PP says he had two drinks. Yeah. Um, what the hell is he drinking where two shots of anything is going he said to he give two you drinks, a not two seven. shots. He said, okay. listen, man, let, let me make two AMFs for you and let's see how you do. Have you ever had an AMF? No, I do not drink. Do you know, so do you know what an AMF is? No, I do not drink. Okay. It's an adios, motherfucker. <laughs> it's, the, it's the tequila version of the Long Island iced tea. And my favorite gift to a 21-year-old when they first get their first drink at a bar. You're not very nice. I'm not very nice. <laughs> so I'm going to assume that is a very potent drink. Oh, yeah. Two of those. Well, you're just right. Pastor PP was not drinking an AMF. Pastor PP blamed an Ambien. And then I had to think about it. Who else did something incredibly stupid and blamed an, and blamed Ambien? It was Roseanne. Y'all remember her? Roseanne? Made some Sorry, racist comments, blamed a Ambien? <laughs> So me being the facetious person I am, I went to Ambien's website and I looked up the side effects for that drug. There's at least, I would say a range of 25 to 30 side effects listed. Not one of those side effects said you will spit out racial epithets or you will pee on someone. None of those side effects said that. Does it say being totally awesome on any one of those? You can be totally nah, awesome on Ambien. Nah. No, no, no. Totally not awesome. Anyway. So, if you do believe that an Ambient would do this, why would you take it? And again, I know it's just an excuse because I don't think there's too many drugs that's going to make me pee on someone. Well, Are there any drugs so, that okay, make you pee on you, someone? If we go back to his statement and the cop statement, he said he took Ambien. Cops said he had a blood alcohol level of 0.17, which is twice legal limit. Um, when you combine ambient and alcohol, that 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 that's like uh, nitroglycerin, man. Like that that you're gonna, who knows? Icon, if you combine alcohol and ambient, maybe you'd be standing on the roof of your house waving your underwear around, going, like, okay, that is fair. But would I piss on my neighbor? <laughs> would I do that? Would I want to? I don't know. Yes, but would I do? Are, are, are their teeth on fire? <laughs> and I think that's as good a time as any to wrap this one up. 
Thank you guys for That's being here. We'll catch you on the next one. This dude set our teeth on fire. Wow.